Hello, I'm Adriana Garcia and I'm, we're currently at UCSF. Um, and what I do here in the lab is I work with a protein that's responsible for pumping drugs out of the cell. Um, and what we're interested in knowing about this protein is we're trying to figure out um, whether or not these different mutations in the population have an effect on the protein's function. We're kind of like more interested in like personalized medicine. So when we look at these proteins and the different mutations in the population, we're kind of like trying to make medicine more optimized for the individual. So I actually started off on a different path. I was um, going to art school um, and I was studying advertising there. So the thing about the art school here is it's really expensive. So I wanted to go um, take my general education courses at community college. So while I was at community college, I ended up taking like basic chemistry because I had to. And I actually like really enjoyed that class and I did really well. Um, and then I was approached by one of the professors there who had a summer opportunity. And um, they placed me in a lab at San Francisco State where it was more independent. So um, what I did there was I had my PI and he kind of like asked me like what I wanted to do and I kind of gave him a basic idea of my interest and then I kind of like developed my own project of what I would be working on that summer. I actually just really enjoyed my summer, had a lot of fun. So that's kind of like when I decided that I would I wanted to do something science related. I didn't really think of research as an, as an option, but then I took that um, summer program and it kind of like introduced that as a possible career choice. So I kind of shifted my focus and I actually left art school and then went to pursue science. For my project, a lot of what we do is we use, uh, we do cell culture, so we look at cells and we express our protein in a mammalian cell. Um, and um, from there, we also do a lot of Western blots um, and running gels. What these basically do is they allow you to separate your protein after you've get, gotten it from the cell, and then from there you can kind of look at it on a, on a machine. So what we do is we have cells and we introduce um, the different variations of the protein to different um, like plates. And then what we do is we then compare them to each other to see how much protein is in each well. So we could kind of conclude like if there's less protein for one variant, um, then perhaps that variant isn't functioning properly. So what we're trying to do is we're kind of like trying to make medicine more optimized for the individual, especially for like um, cancer, cancer drugs and things like that. You're not just like, hey, we'll give you this drug and hopefully it works. It's like, no, we know this isn't gonna really work on you, so what's the point of like giving you this drug and like having you go through all this? If uh, one person has like a mutation and, and their protein's not functioning properly, maybe we'll know that perhaps they're not the best candidate for that medication based on the studies that we've done here in lab. Wow. Yeah. As far as um, what I probably wish I would have known more is just about all the opportunities that are available. Like I feel like people don't really know how to get access to those. Um, but I feel like if you just go to your school and you go to the science department and ask about certain uh, like summer programs, a lot of schools actually do have them. Don't be afraid to like put yourself out there and like go and, and, and look for those opportunities and make sure that, um, that you're part of them because I feel like there's, there's just so much opportunities that people don't take advantage of. And um, not only that, like just try to get as much experience as you can. Thank you.